seething with murderous intent. Moraga's hatred for Mont continues. Using the awesome might of the crystal, he fells Ryu in an instant. And now he makes for Leona's castle. Meanwhile, at the castle, Stern's rampage has begun. His blade crashes down indiscriminately, as if he desires nothing more than to annihilate everything in his path. Before he slakes his bloodlust, Mont appears to stay his blade. struggle to believe it. Ryu was one of Goga's best shinobi. Taking him out in one hit like that. Oh, we should have taken Moraga more seriously. This is bad. Real bad. There's no one left who can beat Moraga now. Even so, we can't just do nothing. Hold on now. You're not thinking of going after him, are you? Then you're not. Maybe I'm missing something here. I thought you were Ryu's partner. Am I? I don't remember partnering up with any corpse. That's harsh, huh? Still, you have one thing right. We can't just do nothing. Do we go after him? You think Moraga and his lot alone are enough to stop the combined forces of Leonis and Horn? I'd wager they are. So there's nothing the three of us can do to get back at him? That all depends on whether Sadali is with them or not, huh? Wait, don't you mean Lord Sadali? Uh-oh. Well... I suppose my oath of devotion to the church wasn't set in stone either. Can we trust you on that? Yeah. Sadali's pets are Murmur, Whisper, and Grace. Oh, and Stern, whatever that kid from Leonis was called. You think I'd fit in with those guys? Sounds like you've got it pretty rough too, huh? Anyway, as I was saying, if Sadali is at Leona's castle, what would happen if we didn't show up? You might think that we turned tail and ran like cowards. And if he isn't there? Then I would see no reason to risk our necks. Hmm, either way, it's looking like a trip to Leona's is in store. Looks like it. Let's go see what Sodaly and Moraga get up to for ourselves, huh? So long, Ryu. I'm sorry it ended up like this. Whenever I eat something good, I'll make sure to eat enough for you too. Father... I am overjoyed to find you safe and sound. Ziza... She defended me. I see. Please ensure that her mother wants for nothing. You have my word. <clears throat> Father? <laughs> Father, you're... Tis merely an old wound that has reopened. No need for concern. Nothing shall stop me from seeing you wed to Lord Mott. <sighs> what is it? 
So you haven't heard, then, about Dario? No need to worry about Dario. Adelard is already en route to Horn Castle. Soon he will... It cannot be. It's true, Father. When I found him outside Horn Castle, he was already... I... I see. Mont is the Elder Prince. His destiny lies atop the throne of Leonis. That is why... I must... let him go. What are you saying, Masuri? I... will lead Horn. But... No need to say anything, Father. I have made up my mind. Once I made the decision to wed Moraga, I resigned myself to my fate. Said your farewells, then. I won't let this happen! you say that didn't you hear a squadron of horn soldiers stormed the castle with King Rob sounds like fun fun can't you show just a little concern that's asking a bit too much isn't Sosha the one who always says there's nothing more unsatisfying than an easy battle precisely What's happened to Lord Stern? If something were to happen to Lord Mont as well... Mm, that would indeed be unfortunate. If such were to befall our troops, Miss Ramada would be in danger. No. Wait. If Fordham and Calum take to the battlefield together, then this is the perfect chance for Miss Ramada and I to better acquaint ourselves. Why can't you people think of anyone other than yourselves? Who cares what his reasons are, so long as he fights? Precisely. What's the point of risking my life in battle if there's nothing to gain by it? I suppose you have a point. It's settled, then. I may actually get carried away this time. If we're going to do this, let's wait until we're closer to Ramada. Huh? You'll really help me? I was thinking that maybe I'll make that my reason to fight too. I like that. We'll play matchmaker for Valide and Ramada. Really? You two are the best friends a guy could ask for. With that decided, let's hurry and get rid of these guys. Wait for me, Miss Ramada. We'll be together soon. <sighs> that takes care of this area. Which means... We head for where Ramada is? Are you really sure about this? Of course! Calum is there too, after all. Right! Let's get moving! Miss Ramada! Where are you? Miss Ramada! Oh no! I'm so nervous! Miss Ramada! What are you shouting for? Uh-oh! I know that voice! Don't tell me the old hag is here! Who are you calling an old hag? Uh, whoa there! I said I wanted to protect Miss Ramada, remember? 
I I know that. Since Lilith is ever so strong, I see we leave this to her. <laughs> now, let's continue the search. Wait right there. You would abandon your comrades even as they fight a losing battle. say abandon we just don't want to get in the way you know there's no way around it we'll have to take care of them first looks like it there she is miss Ramada She truly is strong. Yeah. She doesn't really need me to protect her, does she? You might be right. Oh, what are you three? Miss Ramada! Let's get out of here before that hat can stop us! So this is where you were? Yes. This is where I have been posted. Oh, nice to see you, Valide. Huh? You... You re remember me? <laughs> of course. If you make a good impression here, your wish will definitely come true. Right! I'll do my best. What wish? N nothing Nothing at all! Miss Ramada! You have no need to worry. Now that I'm here, I won't let anyone so much as lay a finger upon you! How reassuring. <laughs> I shall be counting on you then. Just in time. Right then. If you Finnish soldiers want to fight, I'll give you one. Lord Adelard, please forgive me. What is it? Even though the dissolution of the Alliance took us by surprise, Rachis and I should have. There was nothing you could have done. Who could have predicted Lord Daria would fall? Could it be the Fennis forces are being led by... It's Melnia. So it's as I thought. Hey brother, who's Melnia? You don't know. She is a woman to be feared, attended by her handmaid, Renelle, who trades in assassinations. They say she is also Moraga's closest advisor. I suppose we shouldn't expect a sheltered little girl like Salir to know that, though. Excuse me, are you trying to start a fight? It wouldn't be much of a fight. I'd have you sliced to bits before you even realized. Hmm? care to test that theory you wouldn't even draw your katana before i burned you to a crisp stop that both of you we always assumed melnia would only be used as a last resort this could only mean that fennis has decided to escalate this war grawl are you aware of where they've gone now that horn castle has fallen i'm afraid not i see I suppose that's to be expected. You were imprisoned in the dungeon, after all. My apologies. I thought we had a chance advancing on Fennis Castle while they were short-handed, but... Now it would appear our best option is to reconvene with King Rob and take down Moraga. With that in mind, let us make haste. Melnia, if Ketone... Oh. 
Please excuse me. What is it? N nothing. You can't fool me. I know what you're thinking. Uh. Ketone. If I remember correctly, she was a shinobi from Saiga like you, right? <sighs> so she's in Leonis? Yes. Are you worried about her? N no. Lynx, be honest. Huh? You know Melnia, don't you? Yes. Tell me everything. Melnia, she was in Saiga originally. Not just her, either. That handmaid Renal, too? Yes. Renal is obsessed with Melnia. She follows her every word like a mindless puppet. And Saigo was brought to the verge of destruction. You mean there was an internal conflict of some sort? Yes, the two of them were banished, and I suppose that's how they ended up in Fennis. I see. It was thanks to them that we were able to maintain balance with Goga. And once they left, war broke out between Saiga and Goga, I take it? Melnia despises everything about the Shinobi. Do you think Melnia still wants to kill those like you and Kitone? <sighs> Understood. In that case, you may go ahead. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Hurry on to Leona's castle. Warn Ketone and the Leona's forces that they need to be careful of Melnia. Yes, sir. We should also make haste. You've grown stronger, Mont. Because I have more to protect now. I see. You have no intention of coming back, do you? Enough. My mind remains unchanged. The only way before me is painted in blood. That is my destiny. Stern. Though I killed that man with my own hands. Just the thought of him fuels my rage. I burn with the desire to destroy everything he ever built. This country, this castle, and... You, Mont, my own self, even! Has that golden armor driven you to this? No, that's not it. Even without this armor, we would have ended up here. And so... I'm prepared to do what I must. You're not the only one prepared to do so. This doesn't sit well with me. But I'll do it for the woman I love. We shall assist you. <laughs> did... Did we get him? No. <laughs> He's laughing. Do you think you've bested me? He's bluffing. No, it's as he says. What do you mean? As it stands, we can't fight Stern right now. What are you talking about? If we don't fight here, what happens to Masheri? 
Why hit Camilo? Not you too! Even if we defeat Lord Stern here, what happens then? Without Stern to lead them, the rest should be taken care of easily. I wonder about that. <sighs> Stern, you're the one who said we should fight with honor. <laughs> Let's settle this after we've seen Masheri and the others safely to the encampment. I shan't run nor hide from you. Fine. There's no point in fighting you until you're free of all restraint. What are you saying? You mean to let them escape? I see. Your loyalty still lies with Leonis. You couldn't help but go soft on your own brother. Stern! All of you, out of the way. Let every last one of them through. And then, come find me. I'll await you before the castle. Understood. I shall return before sunset. Good. Lord Stern! You're terribly wounded, sir. It was bound to happen in a battle against three skilled opponents. Call in a medic. Once this wound has been attended to, I will go wait before the castle. You will come. I'm sure of it. So Durando and the others are also headed for Leonis. <sighs> where are you? I was so filled with hate, yet... It's strange. Now I feel only pity. May you rest in peace. Who we should really fear is Miraga. For him to defeat Ryu in a single blow. My hands... They're still trembling. Should that monster appear before Lord Mott? <sighs> that will not do. I won't let that happen. I can't. I must protect Lord Mont. Whatever it takes. Even if it costs my life. <laughs> no matter what Stern says, we're not letting you escape. Everyone, prepare yourselves. We'll force our way through! Who are you? Oh, you'll give me a chance to introduce myself. My name is Seymour. Why do you help him? Because I had no idea the church had a lady as lovely as you on its side. Does that count as a reason? Huh. Consider it the sad plight of a samurai from the east. In that case, you must be ready to die. No, I wouldn't say that. I'm not quite ready to give up the earthly pleasure of drinking just yet. 
He is irrelevant. Whoa there. You can't have all the fun. Leave this place at once. Hmm. What do you think you'll accomplish by yourself? Even if you weren't injured. Do not underestimate me. Why not? You're underestimating me, aren't you? Hmm. You've no need to worry about me. Now then. Let's finish what we started and have a little fun, shall we? Fools. Expect no mercy from me. Why would you throw your life away for me? I intend to do no such thing. No matter what debt I owe him, I would never risk my life for a man. <sighs> Don't get the wrong idea. I'm not saying I see you as a woman or anything. Of course not. Then I shall ask, what is it you want? As I already said, I am a samurai from the East. <sighs> Don't tell me... You've never heard of the Eastern Lands, nor of the Samurai. I have heard. They are a force that belongs to no country. Well, that's not wrong. To claim a country would only draw us into territorial disputes. Our founders wanted no part of such things, wishing only to come together to practice the sword. And that is why you only say, of the East? That's right. And you will help anyone in trouble. Is that also your master's teachings? You don't look very troubled with a face like that, mind you. <laughs> but even so, when we take the time to listen, it becomes pretty clear who the villains are here. What? You dare call us villains? I guess I worded that a bit strongly. How about... bad guys? Why, you... What is it you want? Huh? As recompense for helping me. I ask for nothing. <sighs> if I were to ask for something, it would only be for a long life with plenty of good drink. That's all. In that case, I will make you a promise. If we make it out of this predicament, I will get you the best drink you have ever tasted. Oh? I certainly find myself very motivated. didn't know you could do something like that. Something? Like what? Don't play dumb. Something like that flash you let loose from your hand just now. <clears throat> Even I barely made it out unscathed. My apologies. It is not something I can produce at will. If you ask me, it's positively monstrous. That said, those three ladies took the full force of it and lived. 
Just what are they exactly? <sighs> well, if you don't want to talk about it, I won't force it out of you. They were created by Sodaly. Sodaly created them? He stole my knowledge and touched upon many truths. And from that, you say he created life? Yes. Eventually, he will find the way to eternal life. And then... I hear that Sadly has been employing his believers to illegally mine crystals all over the continent. Is it the power of the crystals he wants? Exactly. Is that why you're fighting against Sadly? To stop him? <sighs> that is not the reason. Hey, wait a minute. Whisper, was it? We still have time before they can go on the move again. We should get as far from here as we can in the meantime. Hmm. You're with Fenis. In which case, I won't go easy on you. Lady Malnia, if you would give the order. Nay, are of no importance. How dare you! Be quiet! Why should I? <sighs> Malnia. I've heard that name. From Saiga, I think. That's right. Ketone told me. You betrayed your comrades and nearly destroyed Saiga, didn't you? You say Ketone is with you? No, she's not here. Then I have no interest in you. Wait! You are with Venice, aren't you? I won't let you run away from me. Run away, you impudent. Stand down, Renau. But... They are hardly worth dirtying our hands. Bring Aldoa to me. No need, my lady. I am already here. That voice... Bring Moraga. Such insolence! You must address him as King Moraga! Feed them to him. Perhaps then he will settle down. <sighs> Did she say feed? I cannot see the stars. Belide! I won't let anyone lay a single finger upon Ramada! What foolishness.
couldn't be. Moraga? King Moraga. I can't believe it. Not even Moraga would. How did he end up in this state? This is Sadali's doing. Huh? He convinced King Moraga to wear magic armor. Magic armor? Now King Moraga is no longer human. He has no shred of humanity left within him. Everyone, prepare yourselves! Right. This is an exciting turn of events. Let's go! like this is it for me my honey I only hope that you find happiness Camilo no you cannot die here <laughs> oh well she smells so good this is great Huh? Uh-oh. Camilo! W would you look at that? I've come back to life! Ow! You idiot! I thought you had died! That... that hurts, Mushery! You... you idiot! Marjorie, please, if you keep this up, I may actually die this time. Idiot! Mushery, I... I... Lord Mont! Uh, hey, wait! We were about to have a moment here. Mashri. You're late. What took you so long? Forgive me. But... But you came for me. I knew that you were waiting for me, so... I have returned to you. Welcome back. Are you certain we can't convince you to stay? Yes. I've made up my mind. But why? You won't fight alongside us? I am well aware of what I lack, my lady. Huh? It's clear I have far to go before I can stand at your side. Fear not. For I will return to you a shining prince upon a white steed. Camilo. <sighs> I believe I should go as well, Lord Mont. Huh? With Camilla, you mean? Yes. With your permission, of course. <laughs> I understand. Thank you for everything. Thank you, Your Highness. News from the battlefield, Your Majesty. Moraga has shown himself. Moraga? King Rob. 
We had best be on our way as well. Right. <gasps> Are you all right? Lord. Lord. What's the situation? Muraga. What of him? A monster. A monster? What could he mean by that? I haven't a clue. Has he employed monsters in his invasion of Leonis? Or what could he mean? You have something in mind? Sodaly gave Moraga some sort of magic armor. Magic armor? He gifted the same magic armor to us when forming an alliance with Fennis. Normally we would not accept such a suspicious gift, but... One of the soldiers did try it on, and... He began lashing out violently, not unlike how a monster would. You can't be serious. Just what kind of magic was in that armor? We asked Sadali straight away. And what was his answer? That is what happens when someone lacking strength wears the armor, he said. It appeared to convert rage into power, a contrivance which we of Horn had no need for. We decided to get rid of it. I see. So Moraga could also be wearing that armor. It is most certainly plausible. When the soldier began acting like a monster, it took the collective efforts of Solidus and Nitor to bring him down. For just one soldier? I fear for our comrades. Let us hurry and join with the others. Yes, that sounds like a good idea. One would expect of our commander. They're not the real threat. Moraga is. We should perhaps consider retreat as an option. <sighs> you may be right. Hey, Aldoa. You said so yourself. ...that Moraga was no longer human. So... ...what do you intend to do? What are you implying? No matter if you win or lose here... ...at this rate... ...there's no future left for Fennis. <sighs> there's no getting through to that... ...thing... ...anymore. If we don't defeat him... ...the next person he'll devour is... ...I know that... I do. But even so... What can I do? Should I kill King Moraga to protect Fennis? I could never do that! You cannot mean... You would let Moraga... If King Moraga wishes to devour me, then so be it. Do not say such a thing. You would not understand. I will kill you all. Even if I must become King Moraga's very flesh and blood to do it. We found him. Ramada, are you ready? Yes. This brings back memories of when we first met. That's true. It was sort of like this. Back then. 
You were prepared to die, were you not? Yes. I was. I couldn't understand what Lord Mont was thinking, and had just lost my brother, Volcan. I was in the depths of despair. But when I found out about the villagers who had lost their lives in war, and people living in poverty, it opened my eyes. The future Lord Mont envisioned may be utterly impossible, but... But if we could somehow make it a reality... Right. I was thinking about how precious their smiles were, and I wanted to hear them laugh more. For them, it wouldn't be so bad to try living again, to protect their dreams. Back then, you received a warning from the heavens that death and destruction would follow you wherever you went. That is why I was always concerned for you. I'm sorry. I've put you through so much. If it weren't for me, you could have served Heindler as a strategist. Not to worry. Heindler is served well by my sister, Moore. And... According to her, there are signs of destruction in my future as well. <laughs> Sounds like we were made for each other. I can do not but agree. Well then, let's get started, shall we? Right. Risking our lives for the sake of others does not sound so bad. Retreat and take Ramada somewhere safe. are healing. Why you? Stay where you are. <gasps> this is bad. The light. Huh? The light. It can't be. The light is. Dead! Retreat! 
If you value your lives, retreat! I, I can't. My feet. I can't move. Is this really... Moraga? to us. Huh. Inglebert. I will strike this monster down in the name of Horde's first division, Solidus! Show yourselves. It's all been tidied up so neatly. You'd almost think there'd never been a battle here at all. However... The smell of blood still hangs in the air. I promise. I will do all I can to ensure you did not die in vain. Lord Vadim, what is our next move? We rescue Victora and Loartha. Both are very skilled. I doubt even Quarry could kill them so easily. In that case, should we head into the dungeon? Right. With any luck, the first Sword of Horn, Schutzelt, awaits us there too. With him on our side, we would stand a chance of defeating Kuri. We would more than just stand a chance. And not only with him. What do you mean? I've kept quiet about it until now. But Sergius and I are old friends. Sergius? Of Wazette's first division, Akito? The very same. Once he moves out, our victory is guaranteed. Let's move out. Once we reach the dungeon, Kuri's head is as good as ours. Yes, sir! Who? Schutzelt, I presume. We've come to help you. These people fought with Glacella in the rebellion against Kuri. They are called Rubius. I am Vadim, of said Rubius. What of the others? The cowards have run for Leonis, Mont, as well as Glaciella. You fool! What do you expect to accomplish only by yourselves? That's why we've come to rescue you. With you on our side, surely victory won't be far off. Wait just a moment. We'll have you free in no time. Cayenne. Unlock the cell. Cayenne. I refuse. It's no use. What do you mean? He's a coward. He has no desire to be free. He remains in a cage of his own making. <sighs> Lord Vadim, someone is approaching! Ah. They're onto us already. Sorry. Looks like we'll have to handle this first. I wouldn't sound so confident. That voice. It can't be. This woman was only pretending to be your ally from the very beginning. You can't be serious. Oh dear. Is Glacella not with you? Pity. 
It would have been much more convenient to deal with both of you at the same time. I guess only Vadim was foolish enough to come here. I trusted you. <laughs> How foolish of you. The only thing trustworthy in this world is money. Damn you! Because of you, Margaritas! I'll never forgive you. I'll make you pay! What's wrong? You are the only two left. Well, well, you're not half bad. <laughs> Indeed. Appearances really can be deceiving. So, Vadim, what would you say if we wanted to join forces with Rubius again? Don't even try it. I will never forgive you. Is that so? Well, I guess there's no other way around it. Sergius! <sighs> we heard something interesting. That the two of you were childhood friends. Huh. Yet you went down different paths. I wonder how your goals in life have changed in that time. Sergius, please help me. With you and Akito, we can defeat Kuri. We can change Wazette together. I... don't agree. Huh? How could you say that, Sergius? You despise Kuri. Thank you, Sergius. <sighs> With this, there's no going back, Sergius. I take it? Not just Fordham and Calum of Leonis either. Horn's proud Solidus have all been completely taken out. Moraga did all this? Yes. King Moraga did all of this on his own. King Moraga is. is. unstoppable. No one can defeat him now. This is... what Moraga has become? It's impossible. Nothing can stop King Moraga now. Not until the whole world has been destroyed. Yes. 